News 46 is brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, an accident victim succumbs to his injuries. And a father is arrested for allegedly stealing from a thrift store. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Zach Reinert. News 46, local coverage you can count on. A young man in hospice care dies following his accident. It's July 26, 2017. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Zach Reiner. Brian Rollinson has been in a coma since his accident in June. He succumbed to his injuries yesterday here in Pahrump. 26-year-old Brian Rollinson has passed away, the result of a single vehicle rollover that occurred on June 7th in the hills west of Charleston Park. Two occupants were inside the vehicle that rolled approximately nine times per Fire Chief Scott Lewis from Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue Services. 20-year-old Norman Stevens and 26-year-old Brian Rollinson suffered injuries. Stevens was transported to Desert View Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Rollinson was transported by ground ambulance and subsequently Consequently, airlifted to UMC Trauma. Brian passed away at Pahrump Health and Rehab under the care of Nathan Adelson Hospice. Nevada Highway Patrol says intoxication appears to be a factor in the crash. Rollinson was reportedly driving the red SUV at the time of the crash and was ejected from the car. The family of Brian Rollinson is understandably devastated at the loss of Brian, who they love deeply. They would like to thank all the people that made donations on Brian's behalf on his GoFundMe page. The Funeral services have been scheduled for Rollinson. The public is invited. They will be held at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, located at 921 West Wilson Street at 11 a.m. His mother, Christina Keenan, told News 46 that Brian was known as a kind soul. He never knew the word no. He always helped out no matter who you were, good or bad, and his nickname was Saint. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And a prompt man is arrested after allegedly participating in a theft with his sons at a local thrift store. Raymond Rogers has been taken into custody by the Nye County Sheriff's Office for conspiracy and theft in the amount of $650 to $3,500 and conspiracy of possession of stolen items at the location of Attic Fanatics located on Basin Avenue here in Pahrump. According to the declaration of arrest, deputies met with the owner of the store who said he had a video of a man and his two sons actively stealing coins out of a display case totaling $2,500 in value. In the video, you see an adult male enter the store with two juveniles. They would leave and enter the store for a total of four visits. In each visit, all three subjects would stay near a glass display case, which was full of collector coins, and the juveniles would take turns putting the coins in their pockets. The male would engage the female salesperson several times during the theft, and at one point in the video stood in front of the two juveniles, appearing to watch them take the items from the case and put them in their pockets. Police were able to identify the vehicle driven by Raymond Rogers. They made contact with Raymond at his residence and asked him the names of the boys he was with on Tuesday. Raymond was taken into custody and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. He allegedly disclosed to police that he did not orchestrate the theft and he also did not stop it nor did he return the property. He stated that he would die for his kids but sometimes he protects them too much. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. The Board of County Commissioners discussed brothel license renewal fees at their last meeting. Uh, first item, item 17, uh, discussion deliberation on existing brothel license renewals. My intention is that all brothel licenses, and they're, I'm going to say it all and then we'll do them separately, their associated liquor licenses will be renewed temporarily until August 1st, uh, I think it's 1st, August 1st meeting. 
as some of the brothels have yet to comply with our code, which states no off-property advertising of these businesses. I've given photos of the sheriff and DA a few weeks ago, so if the owners have any questions, they can check with the DA and sheriff as to those signs. Prior. So my motion is uh, to approve the brothels temporarily until the August 1st meeting, where they will all comply with our signage, our names of, bar of bars and brothels, and that all fees will be paid at the current rate. So probably the only thing that we would change on there is right in front of the total. Maybe you want it to say 2000 This should say what you're going to collect in 2018. Because per the county code, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it says that I'm to add, I'm to include the total amount that I've collected up to prior to me going and in for renewals. list two columns, one for 17 and 18 actual, okay. and one for 18 estimated. Okay. Okay. So most of the time, if when I come in at the first of the month, there won't be much that's collected yet. There will be some. Some of them pay a few weeks before. Some of them pay a couple days after. Obviously, the agenda item has to go on two weeks prior to the well, meeting. Well, we're so. well into July. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they should all be paid by now. Yeah, but I'm just and saying. And I think that's what the commissioner's comments are. They yeah. should all be paid. Absolutely. Right. But when I go in for the agenda, they won't be. When I put the agenda item in the future, they okay. won't be paid But we can, we can, you know, make a change at the meeting and, and make sure we've got current information. Thank you. Any, any further discussion? And more from the board on gambling and liquor licenses for brothels when we return.